Good blessed uh, night to everybody. Uh, today happened to be uh, Thursday, May the 6th, 2020, the time of the vision. It's about 8.40 uh, p.m. But I want you to take a look at the security cameras at this particular time here. It's, it's uh, oh, the 7th. Uh, it ain't the 6th, it's the 7th. My mistake. Uh, May the 7th, 2020. It is about 7.29 uh, p.m. But I want you to take a good look at this here now. You got to remember, this is Charleston, Missouri. This is Vine Street. And Charleston, Missouri, the city is normally governed by the uh, police department. If the police department uh, uh, is not in service, then the sheriff's department. If the sheriff's department is not in service, and then it comes to the state highway patrol. And after the state highway patrol, it would be the National Guard. After the National Guard, it would be the United States Army. But I want you all to take a good look at this here now. Now, you got to remember, it's re-election. And I told you all I made an error. Uh, last year, and I'm, I'm human and make mistakes. Uh, I voted for change for sheriff uh, January the 29th, 2019, in a special election because I sat down with the sheriff and he, he assured me there was going to be a change. But at the same time, I told you all when I put a sign in my yard and was voting for him, you had two thugs in the city. Well, three of them. One of them wear a, a brown wig. Uh, but they got to harassing me, even coming by my house. Got to talk about the sheriff, but the sheriff sent three uh, individuals, black individuals, from Charleston to go tell these three black individuals to stop using his name. But he said nothing about them coming by my house harassing me, nor did the Charleston Police Department. But since he's been into to the office, I learned something when I went to their church. That the chief of police go there and it's a circle with the chief of police and the sheriff. And I'm not saying all Charles, Missouri police officers is in this circle. But I know the chief of the police and the sheriff, the present sheriff is. I want you to watch this here now. Out of all the places, you're going to see the captain of the sheriff department. Now, if you see all the way down, if the arrow can go to it, where you see that car with the lights at, they crossing Lee Street, coming down Vine, and watch when this black charger, I think it is, going to activate their lights, and you will see out of our, way down there now, but you're going to see them stop right in front of the house. I guess they want me to see. Uh, that the sheriff is doing something, but that's something that the police would do. But check it, just check it out. No activation of lights yet. No activation of lights yet. You see the arrow. Now you see the activation of lights. It's like a movie. You see what I'm saying? Re-election is coming. This is not the Charleston Police Department. This is not the FBI. This is not ATF. This is not a sheriff deputy. This is a sheriff captain now. Now check this here out. Right in front of the house. Do you think they want me to say, well, the sheriff is doing a good job here? Now check it out. That's the captain, y'all, of the sheriff department here in Mississippi County, Charleston, Missouri. Just check it out. You remember I made another one not too long ago when the sheriff pulled over and asked my daughters and them, not me, was I talking to him? Re-election is in effect, y'all. Just take a good look now. Okay, Captain. Must not have been an emergency, but they got the lights. They want to show the vehicle, and as if they're doing something in the black community, but they're not. I know that for a fact because I live in it. Now, you remember what time it is. It's 7.30. What time it started? About 7.20 something. Now, get the cameras back to all of them right quick. There you go. You see him? No lights. 
No action. Now I'm going to come back with another one. Now, one thing about me, I have respect for a politician that stopped by my house and talked to me, letting me know their program. Uh, Keith Moore, even though I voted against him in the special election, to give uh, Brent Farrell a chance to show change, but I didn't see change. Just like earlier in this video, when you seen that charger starting all the way down from Lee Street and uh, Vine coming west, activated the lights way down there, but then uh, stopped right in front of the house across the street. But the reason why I allowed Keith Moore to put my put his sign in my yard. I see some of my neighbors down the street has the same thing. And not only that, uh, when he was in office, they was doing the job that the Charleston, Missouri police, chief of police wasn't doing. While they was doing their job, the sheriff was doing their job here in Charleston, Missouri, the chief of police was down in East Prairie at, at baseball games. But this is what I want to say. I'm going to give Keith Moore a chance to get back in there. You see, what I seen earlier, this charger stopping this car. Now, all the crime that's going on in the black neighborhood, activating those lights, when they activate the lights, normally you figuring that they finna do something or something happening. And then when you activate your lights a couple of blocks down, you'll normally stop right there. But I guess right across the street from my house was the clearest place. But for anybody that may want to criticize and say, well, you voted against him last year. Yes, I did. And this man been knowing me since I've been here. Uh, Keith Moore was... Uh, uh, a high ranking uh, sheriff uh, in the sheriff's department when I spent five months in there. So I've been knowing him, even though I voted against him because I wanted change. But I didn't see that change like I said. And he said he can offer us change in Mississippi County, not just on the east side of Charleston, Missouri. Not just on the side where non-blacks is living, but in this black area too. And if anybody said we don't need security over here at times, we do. Not all the time. You know, while we were sitting out here talking, we seen a bunch of kids down the street playing in the streets when a car, a guy that don't even live over here, you can hear his pipes just speeding on down. But this is something that happened regularly. But this is who I'm voting for. And I don't care who don't like it. I don't care who uh, has something to say about it. But I want to show you something else. About that same black car now. All of a sudden. Uh, when it's time for election. Now that's the present sheriff's captain. We'll talk about it in a minute. Now I want y'all to pay close attention to that truck. After that truck go around the corner that you're going to see that same black George Charger. When it get to around the corner, almost where the green truck is, you're going to see it activate its lights. He seen me out here talking to the uh, guy, Keith Moore, that's going to run against the present sheriff again. So he's trying to see what I'm doing. Let it run. But look at the time, too, y'all. It's 7.55, still the same date. Now, take a good look. You're going to see this black charger, I believe what it is. Look real good. 
That's it right there. Now watch when it turn the corner, you're going to see it activate its lights. Back it up a little bit again. All I want to do is see the lights. Check them lights out again, y'all. I guess it's an emergency somewhere in the town, but I ain't through. I'll be back in a minute. All right. Some people may not like this sign here that I got in my yard. And when you voting some for somebody, at least me, I vote for change. Like I told y'all before, January the 29th of 2019, when I voted for Sheriff, I voted for change. But you see, I haven't seen the Sheriff that I voted for last year, January the 29th, 2019, until maybe I think a month or so ago when he asked my two daughters when they were standing here. He was parked over here. I was talking to my neighbor right here. But he seen me. But he asked my two juvenile daughters that was playing music in the car right here. Do your, uh, your dad don't talk to me anymore. But after he seen me, got through talking to my neighbor on the next street. He was parked right there. We looked eye to eye. He didn't say nothing to me. I didn't say nothing to him. I'm on the phone with one of my cousins in St. Louis because my children's uh, mother had just passed. So it must have been in March. And my, as I was walking back, back here, my children that was playing music right here, they said, Poppy, uh, the sheriff said, you don't talk to him no more. And then I went. I said, what's going on? And he said, uh, you don't talk to me no more. I said, how you doing? Then he asked me how I was doing. I said, I'm blessed by the best. And I kept going. There was nothing to really talk about uh, if you ain't been here in 14 months or you weren't concerned when these thugs, and that's what I call them, thugs, these thugs, those cowards, you see what I'm saying? Those wannabe bullies, when they was on this corner, disturbing my peace, my 92-year-old World War II veteran dad's peace, my 13 and 14-year-old daughter's peace, which they was 12 and 13 then, uh, when they were disturbing our peace, you had nothing to say about it, but when they got the mention in your name, then you send three black individuals in the streets to tell them to stop using your name. They stopped using your name, but they kept on harassing me. You seen the chief of police who go to the same church you go to wasn't doing his job or wasn't making his officers do their job, and you didn't do nothing about it. So you showed me where you stand. But now, all of a sudden, your cars, you happen to just stop right here while I'm talking to my neighbor. Your captain come from all the way down there. Got a car, put the activated lights and stop right here out of all the places. Then a little bit after that, after the shirt, uh, Keith Moore, who's running against you now, come and ask, can he put a sign in? I let him put my, his sign in my yard. Then here is your captain again. Wait till you get ready to turn the corner, activating his lights. To me, that's all a performance. Where y'all when all of this crime was happening over here? You see, it's a unity here on Vine Street with the exception of a few people that come over here to start mess that don't live over here that hang out with y'all circle. You see, y'all circle is the people that's been in power all this time, the people that got all the money. But we're going to try it again. And I'm just going to say, I'm voting for Keith Moore, for sure. Peace be still.